morning, I'm Jeff Butel from uh, True North Avionics, and I'm going to take a few moments this morning to share with you some recent enhancements we've had on our Iridium Datalink Unit Plus. Our recent efforts with Level D software certification and TSO per AC159A, combined with our DLU's unique design and sound fit, will not only make STC installations easier, it will help drive down cost and make your future STCs more reusable. True North, fly, connect, succeed. That's exactly what we've been doing for years. If we've helped customers have the best voice options and router functionality that they need and expect in the aircraft. Back in 2006, we knew the day would be coming when the market would demand a cost-effective, highly reliable, and properly certified means for FANS 1A. The Radium DLU Plus has been in service since 2007 and for years has proven to be a reliable and cost-effective means for APHIS functionality. But in 2014, once the directives were clear, True North moved forward with certifying the Iridium DLU Plus for Level D software and obtaining TSO. Fresh news as of yesterday, the FAA has approved our TSO application and uh, has been signed, and we're waiting, if, waiting for it to be arrived in the mail. Now, most of us here in the room know all about the pending mandates for FANS 1A and the need for FANS 1A. But as the rubber hits the road, I'd ask us to, and we tackle how to get our customers there, I think that we have to ask a few key questions. I did a little bit of calculations in knowing that there are over 100 different Iridium and Inmarsat SATCOM combinations that can be found on out-of-production aircraft. And it makes me wonder, how do you decide which one is the right one of those SATCOM systems to choose for your fans' connectivity? Maybe the one with TSO? And also, for these out-of-production aircraft, how do you keep the costs down moving forward? Because these planes still have the legs to go internationally, but over the years, they have uh, diminished in their overall value. And finally, I would like to ask, what will become of swift broadband connectivity as KA comes into play? Is it possible that some operators will choose to remove swift broadband once they have KA? How will you get your fans 1A onto the aircraft if that happens? As you can see, the Radium DLU Plus is not big, but considering its functionality, price, and certification, it's powerful. It's a dedicated Iridium channel for your fans' CPDLC. It's no respecter of other SATCOM systems, which means that it can be installed with a variety of equipment that's already on the plane. And what I think that means, if you like the phone that's on your plane right now, keep it and use the DLU for your fan solution. However, if you don't like the phone on your plane, please talk to me, and you can still use the DLU for your fans' effort. The DLU is functional with a wide variety of FMS and CMUs. It supports airing 429, 618, and Data2 messages. And the DLU can be used with a wide variety of uh, network providers and service providers. Compared to other SATCOM upgrades, the DLU is relatively simple and always consistent. You have your power, you have your ground, you have your RF input and airing 741 interface. And by the way, the DLU has no lithium ion batteries and its small size will afford, will afford a number of installation locations inside or outside the pressure vessel. Currently, we have several STC efforts underway with our partners Clay Lacey, Chicago Jet Group, and Jet Aviation. Feel free to contact them or myself with any questions should you have them. I'm going to be in booth 326 with Terry Markovich this week. Thank you very much for your time and appreciate your attention. Aero News Network's coverage of the 58th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Dallas, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Avidyne provides innovative avionics solutions for general aviation aircraft 
including the IFD 540 and IFD 440 FMS GPS NAVCOMs with Geofill, Hybrid Touch, and full ADSB capability. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS enabled integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, NAVCOM, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com.